One of the best ways to learn about Charleston's rich heritage is to tour one of our beautiful plantations. Nestled among moss-covered oak trees and blooming azaleas, today I'm going to show you four of my favorite plantations in Charleston. Located on James Island, the McLeod Plantation is a 37-acre former Sea Island cotton farm that has only been open to the public since 2015. When visiting McLeod, be sure to catch any one of the guided tours that focus on everything from cotton cultivation to the emergence of the Gullah culture in the Lowcountry. Boone Hall Plantation is one of America's oldest working farms and is the number one plantation in Charleston as recognized by USA Today 10 Best. Upon entering the plantation, you're greeted with the famous Avenue of Oaks, which are 270-year-old giant live oaks draped with Spanish moss. In addition to their daily tours, Boone Hall annually hosts the most popular pumpkin patch in the Lowcountry and the world's largest oyster roast. Magnolia Plantation has been selected as one of America's most beautiful gardens by Travel and Leisure magazine. As the oldest public tourist site in the Lowcountry and the oldest public gardens in America, the plantation has stayed within the ownership of the Drayton family for more than three centuries. After viewing the lush gardens of Magnolia Plantation, drive just down the road and stop at Middleton Place to view what has been called the most interesting garden in the United States. Middleton Place gardens have been thoughtfully planned so that something is in bloom any time of the year. Guests can tour the house museum, which was home to four generations of the Middleton family, or tour the stable yards and find craft artisans, including a weaver, a blacksmith, a potter, and carpenter. Our plantations are just another reason Charleston is such a charming place to call home. If you're looking to buy or sell a property in Charleston, give me a call. My name is Gemma Connell and I sell real estate in the number one city in the world.